Hey guys, and welcome back to the Oh Hello YouTube channel. Today we are doing a traveler's notebook size comparison video. So giving you all of the dimensions, the ins and outs about traveler's notebooks, what inserts fit in them, how they compare to each other, how they are different, everything you need to know to figure out which size traveler's notebook works best for you. All of the size dimensions and details will be in the description of this video if you wanna go check those out, but let's dive in. So first up, here is a little look at all of the sizes that Oh Hello offers next to each other. So this is the A5, the B6, the A6, and the pocket. Each of them has about an inch to an inch and a half of spine depth. If you try to fill them up, you have about an inch or an inch and a half. And the cover sizes are as following. So the A5 is six and a half by 9.25 inches. The B6 is 5.5 inches by eight inches. The A6 is five inches by six and a half inches. And the pocket is four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So the pocket and the A6 are the same height. The A6 is just a little bit larger in the width. So now let's go in and give you all the details about each of the sizes individually. So this is the pocket size, and I will be sure to include all of these covers in the description if you like any of these color options. You can go find them down there. So the pocket is the smallest size we offer, and our inserts come in this cute little size. This is 3.5 by 5.5 inches. The pocket is great if you really like field notes. So the field notes are the exact same dimensions as our inserts. So if you're curious, they are the exact same. So you can put field notes in here, but they also fit the Hobonichi. I'm pretty sure this is the Hobonichi Techno. It gets a little confusing, but let's actually pull out the ruler so you know exactly the size. Ignore the like world's oldest ruler. So this is a little bit over four inches by nearly six inches. So this can also fit in the A6, but it fits perfectly inside the pocket. So if you want it to be pretty flush on the edges, it fits perfectly in the pocket. I slipped it into the back little pocket here, but you can easily put it on one of the three straps as well. Here's a close up of the top, just if you're curious. Onto the A6 size, I basically have this Monstera pattern in every single size, I'm obsessed with it. But the inserts are four by 5.75 inches. You can also get away with six inch inserts if you'd like, but we made our covers slightly larger. That way you have a room for a pen on the inside if you want to tuck it in. So everything's tucked in really nicely. I used to use this as my main carry, so it has all of my inserts in it still, but I've actually switched to an A5. So an A6, I don't have any like specific name brand inserts that you can fit besides ours, but anything that's roughly four by six. So if you get one of these dashboards, they can fit a four by six sized photo which is really nice. Moving on to B6, I actually have two different covers here because there are a ton of things that fit in our B6 size traveler's notebook. First up are the inserts. They are five by seven, pretty standard size, easy to find. In this one, I have one of the EC hardbound notebooks. These are basically flush with the edge. So they're very close to the edge. The strap kind of gets pulled around it a little bit, but you can easily fit one of these in here. I tried a B6 for a while, so this was the notebook that I was using. So it also fits a Baron and Fig. Basically any size notebook that's five by seven, which is a very common size in notebooks, can fit into our covers. So this is a Baron and Fig, but you can also fit an Erin Condren Petite Planner in here. I do suggest putting this in an A5, but a ton of people use our B6s. It's a little flush to the edge. Like I said, with the hardbound, it kind of pulls up the string a little bit, but it is flush when you close it. So that fits really nicely. And then I also have just a random five by seven Michael's notebook. This is where I just put like scratch notes and things in here. So any five by seven notebook can easily work in here. 
Last but not least is our new A5 size. The inserts are quite large and really roomy, coming in at 5.8 by 8.25 inches. So here is the A5 and inside you can fit a ton of things. With it being such a large size, you really have a lot of different options. Up first are the Jot Your Thought notebooks from Erin Condren. They are also the same size as the Petite Planner. I just love the way that these fit in the A5. There's enough room around the outside to add a pen loop and a pen, and they aren't like super snug. So you can have a Jot Your Thought or a Petite Planner, but the Hobonichi Techno Cousin fits inside our A5s. I slipped this one into the back pocket like I did with the other Hobonichi. You could put it on the strap, but I think it just sits really well in that back pocket with room around it. Like I said, you need some room around it, you know, a little wiggle room. You don't want everything to be flush to the edges so your tabs stay safe, your pens are nice and tucked in there. That's why we made our covers a little bit larger than the like standard size that most companies have. Of course, you guys are constantly finding other things that can fit into our Traveler's Notebook covers, so definitely let me know what those are in the comments down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and leave any of your questions down in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to see more Oh Hello videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.